everyone, today I'm doing a very beginner tutorial and just going over everything of Roblox Studio. If you don't have Roblox Studio already, you can just go to Roblox, click develop, and then click download right over here. And no, you cannot go on Roblox Studio on the mobile version. But once you download it, this is where you'll start. If you do switch to classic view, it basically just brings you to the develop page. If you don't have Builders Club, you can only have one game at a time. But if you want to edit your own place, just click edit over here. But for this video, I'm just going to start with a brand new one. Just go to base plate here. Okay, and now to enter a brick, just click part right up here. And it brings it in. And the first thing I'm telling you to do is to anchor your brick. You can either over here, click on it and go to go anchor it down here or on the top of the page over here you can also anchor it. And real quick I just want to go over the view. This is the best way to have it. You have the you have your explorer over here and then you have properties down here and your toolbox over here and I'll go over more in depth of those later. But here we have a brick, we have it anchored, it's all good. You can enter more types of bricks. You have a block, sphere, wedge. It's the wedge. It's a wedge. <laughs> Cylinder. And we have a sphere. Make sure you anchor it. If you don't anchor it, uh, when you go in the game, you could, basically if anyone walks into it, it'll knock over, it'll fly all over the place. So do that. Now if you notice, just copy and paste this here. If you notice, there is a line between the two bricks and there's an outline on the edges. Um, this is kind of just a preference thing, but a lot of people do it. It's the uh, turning the outlines off. If you go over to lighting on the side, you can do that. Just uncheck it and there you go, they're all gone. Another cool thing in lighting, you can change the time, which changes where the sun is, it changes the lighting. Um, another thing is, right now, just the default way you enter, there'll be a shadow over every brick if you build a roof or something like that. And if you want to turn that off, you click right here, you uncheck global shadows, it'll make it darker. So you can change the ambient to 127, 127, 127. And that'll just bring it back to the normal day. Okay, but let's start by going over all these things at the top. So obviously you got select, move your brick around, move, is, do it like this, scale, resize it, rotate, rotate it, and then collisions. Collisions, I prefer to not have it on because if you don't you can move and resize a brick through another one like that it's nice but if you don't have it if you have it on then you run into the brick and you can't go it's kinda just depends on what you're building and then of course you have your insert part over here toolbox is on the side you can open it and close it there material if you click on a brick you can change it. There's plastic is the normal one, and then there's also smooth plastic, which I kind of like better. And neon is pretty cool. You don't see it in while you're building, but if you actually go in the game, it's glowing and all that stuff. There's a whole bunch of them you can look through. And if you want to change, get rid of these little studs at the top, you can go over here in properties and surface and just turn the bottom surface to smooth and the top surface to smooth. And there you go. If you want to group two bricks together, you highlight both of them, and then you click group, and that can, it makes it into a model. You can also ungroup it if you want. Usually if you're building like a chair or a piece of furniture or something you want all together, so you don't have to move each brick separately, you group it. Terrain, I'm not going to go over terrain in this video, but it's pretty, you know, it's just build terrain, you can generate it, you can add it, it's fun to just play around with that. Over here, you can test, you can just click play, and then that'll bring you into the game, but everything you do 
in here you can edit whatever you want but it will not save when you click stop so you can test everything out make sure it's working right if you have a script you can run it I'm just gonna stop okay so there is the home tab let's go into model a lot of it this part was in the home tab here is let's do move okay so you can change how much you want let's say it changes from one to five then it'll resize it it'll move everything five studs at a time and rather than one you can uncheck it and just free transform it all which it's if you're building like a wall or a house or something you don't want to uncheck this just because then your walls will be uneven and then the size of it will be weird very small increments and nothing will match up so I usually keep that on and I also if you want to change this don't do anything weird like 0.18 unless you have a reason for it because again things just won't add up and it'll be weird same with rotate you can change how much you do it you can do it 90 degrees at a time so you can just flip it And then we already went through this area and solid mod modeling. I'm going to do a very short version of this, but it is very, very nice. So if you, you can, it's not the best example, but just say you want to put these two bricks into one, highlight them both, click union, and it's one brick now. There's a lot of fun things you can do with that. You can separate them anytime you want. You can say just I want to put a hole in this brick so move that through click negate highlight them both union and there's a hole in there now that is a lot of fun to mess around with you can separate it constraints it's kinda just another way a whole thing I don't want to get into in this one um, you can add ropes, rods, springs, all that stuff. Effects, this is my favorite. You can add fire into a brick, and then you'll see it over here in Explorer, under the brick. You can delete it if you want, you can change the size, you can change the heat, you can do anything you want with that. It's a lot of fun to mess with, and again, my favorite is a particle emitter. You can add it into it. And then you can change over here texture, you can upload a picture, you can change it, you can do whatever you want. It's a lot of fun. You can make it rain diamonds, you can you can have anything. You, there's been a lot of cool creations with that lately. And also, earlier, if I want to change the ambient and make it darker out, I can add over here an effect, I can add a point light, a spotlight, or a surface light light the place up you can go over here again in properties and change anything you want about it make it brighter make it smaller make it colorful it's a lot of fun and then if you don't want it just click on it and then delete it change the lighting back Okay, and another thing in here, you got smoke, you have sparkles, you can add as many things as you want. And now spawns, of course that's important, it's where everyone's going to enter the game at. You can resize this, you can, you can click on the decal on here, take that off, you can do anything you want with it, but make it whatever size you want, hide it, do whatever, that's just where people will come in the game at. So you can do whatever you want with that. Terrain, again, I kind of overviewed that earlier. And I did testing, that's again where you just enter the game. You can play it, you can do whatever you want. And since I'm not going over scripting in this video, that's about all you need to know about that. View, of course over here, you can take screenshots, full screen, record. You can show the grid. You can do a lot of things over there. And plugins, you can back over here in Roblox Studio switch to the classic view if you're on, when you're on the develop page you can go to library plugins and search for any of them you want I'll put some of my favorites in the description that help a lot especially when you're new to building I'll put some of those down there if you want to check it out 
Okay, but now let's get to a little more about these bricks. So I have this brick right here. I can, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, now I'm going to go over what's over here in properties. Again, first you can change the color. You can also do that up here. Change it to whatever color you want. Okay, and then you can change the material over here as well. Smooth plastic is my favorite if you're just doing something regular. Okay, reflectance makes it reflective. You can do one. Is all the way. Zero is none. So you can change this as much as you want. And then transparency is also over here. So you can change that. If you're doing a window, a lot of the times it's common to do a little bit of both until you find exactly what you want. You can also um, change the position here. If you want to just move it over 0.5, you can do that and rather than moving it with the tools over here. And anchored, I went over that earlier if you want it to stay where it is. Can collide, this is also important. Say you're making a door and you want to make the brick walk through where anyone can go through it. You just uncheck that box and you can walk right through it. Locked, I should have gone over this earlier because there's also a tool up here for it. The lock tool, you can move down on it and then you won't be able to you won't be able to mess with the brick, you won't be able to move it, it'll kind of just be like there. If you don't want it locked, go back here, unlock all, or you can go into the brick and unlock it. And again, with the base plate, it comes in the game locked. It'll be under here in workspace. That's where all your bricks will go. If you don't want, if you want to move it, resize it, get rid of it, you can come over here and unlock it, and then you'll be able to do whatever you want with the base plate. But for now, I'm not going to have this locked. You can change the size here. You can change it to a ball or a cylinder if you want. You can change the surface again, like I said earlier. That's pretty much everything you can do with these. And I'm going to get into a little bit about models and this whole toolbox over here. Okay, so models, there are a whole bunch of them. You can search for whatever you want. You can search for a toilet, you can search for a fridge, you can do anything in here. And you can just insert in, into your game. There's some that Roblox made. Kind of cool. And if you want to make your own model, you can, let's say I put these together and I group it. You right click, save to Roblox, and then create new, or if you already have one, you can click on it to update it, and then you title it whatever you want. Over here, locked, if it is locked, then only you can use it. If it is unlocked, then anyone in Roblox can use it. They can search for it, they can put it in their game. Then you just upload it and then it'll be in models. If you go under my models, it'll be there. Then decals. Again, it's kind of the same thing, but this time it's more of a picture on the brick. You can, over here, you can change the transparency. You can do a lot with it, you can delete it, and if you want to upload your own, go back to the develop tab. You can do this in Roblox Studio or just on the on the web. Go over here, decals, and then upload whatever one you want, and then it should it'll be in your game. Meshes, you can also insert those from here. They're kind of... they're meshes, really. They're just different bricks. Audio, you can also insert into your game. You can upload audio if you want to, right over here. But that does cost Robux to upload, depending on how long it is. But you can insert it in your game. You can insert it into a brick. If you... also if you right-click Insert Object, you can insert it from there. But again, to do that, it's more complex, more longer than I want to cover in this video. But sets are just groups of models. And then, if you save any of them or upload them, it'll be under yours. That's kind of just a really, really fast coverage of the toolbox. And 
that is about... I know that was really fast and crazy, but I hope I got over all of the basics for you so you can get in and start building. It does look like a lot when you start, but the best thing is just practice, start using a whole bunch of different things, and learn as you go. This doesn't cover everything, but it covers... <laughs> It covers what you need to know to get started. And especially if you just want to build something simple to start out with, this is all you need to know. And then when you're done, you build whatever you want, you can go over here to File, Publish to Roblox, it'll save it directly to the game, it'll make it live, anyone can go to it right away. Or you can just save as and save it to your computer, which is nice. You can also open ones from your computer over here, or start a new one. And that is pretty much all for this video. If you have any questions or anything you need help on, leave it in the comments or message me on Roblox. I'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe and give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video.